Krishna. Since ancient times, it's been a tradition to do Vrindavan Prikama. Especially in Akadasi, we see thousands of people doing Prikama Vrindavan Town. So, come along with us. We'll take you on Vrindavan Prikama today. Hare Krishna, we are in the Bhaktivedanta Swami Goshala and we have this wonderful ladus they are made from wheat bran and gua and our cows like them very much. Uh, we have tons of them and everyone can come and feed the cows with their own hands uh, this wonderful ladus. Uh. We're starting from the Bhaktivedanta Swami Goshala and Gardens, which is home to 400 cows. And now we're going to the Prikama Marg to start our Vrindavan Prikama. Hare Krishna. Just after the Bhaktivedanta Swami Goshala, the first God will come to is Kaliya Ghat, where Krishna chastised the Kaliya serpent and drove him from the Jamuna. Now they've remodeled it very nicely. The whole area beyond this point had become completely poisoned, and Krishna and the cowherd boys came here and they drank water from the Jamuna and died. Krishna glanced over them by his merciful glance and restored their life. Then he climbed in this big, huge kadamba tree. I've never seen a kadamba tree this big in Braj. And he jumped into the waters of the Jamuna and drove Kaliya from here. If you know where to look, there's a beautiful Samadhi in Bhajan Kutir of Prabodhananda Saraswati. He was uncle of Gopal Bhatta Gosami and he has written so many exquisite verses about Vrindavan. Vrindavan Mahimamrita, Vrindavan Satika. This is his actual samadhi. A little beyond is a recently renovated ghat called Tamal Krishna Gosami Ghat. Just see the beauty. Next comes the icon of Vrindavan, Sri Sri Radha Madan Mohan Temple of Srila Sanatan Goswami. Then we pass a few minor ghats and the next place we'll come to is Imli Thala, the tamarind tree, where Lord Krishna himself sat, chanting Radhe Radhe and turned golden. And Lord Chaitanya came here 500 years ago and chanting Krishna Krishna, he became black. Now as we pass Chirgat, we see the beautiful Jamuna, Kalindi, the daughter of the sun god. We remember the beautiful Jamunastikam of Srila Rupa Goswami. Ramyatira rambamana gokadamba bhushita divyaganda bhakadamba pusparaja rushita nanda sunu bhakta sangam sangam abhinandani Mampunatu Sarvadara Binda Bandu Nandani Mampunatu Sarvadara Binda Bandu Nandani <laughs> 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 
now we're approaching Keshigat, the most scenic and iconic ghat of all of Vrindavan. Many kings have built beautiful ghats here to the Jamuna. The very last one is built by the Maharaj of Bharatpur with a beautiful palace. This is the place where Krishna killed the Keshi demon who came in the form of a horse. This was one of the last demons sent by Kamsa to kill Krishna. He was neighing and charging furiously at Krishna, digging up the earth with his hooves. Krishna took his left hand and stuck it in his mouth and expanded his hand and Keshi felt it like a hot poker in his mouth and he rolled his eyes and died. And this is the Ghat where every night we see Jamuna Artik. This is the palace built by the king of Bharatpur and our devotees used to stay here before there was Krishna Balaram Mandir. We stopped to take some water on our heads to purify ourselves. At the end of Keshigat, we find a small shrine to Jamuna Devi, where the original Jamuna Arti takes place. And here we see the picture of Krishna killing the Keshi demon. we see the government making preparations for the Vrindavan Kumbh Mela this year. Now we've come to Jagannath Ghat where there's a very beautiful Jagannath temple. When Baba Ramdas was staying here and Lord Jagannath came to him in dream and said I want to see the cool dark waters of Kalindi. Somehow he went to Puri and convinced everyone that it's Navakalevaram let the old deities come to Vrindavan. Here we see the ashram of some athletic babas. Now we're approaching a temple where there's an ancient banyan tree where Lord Chaitanya rested. In Bengali it says, the resting place of Mahaprabhu. The government has made a nice sandy path for the pilgrims to walk on. We're approaching the Gauri Dauji Temple or the White Dauji Temple, which is actually Radharani dressed up like Balaram so that she could wrestle with Sri Krishna.
Just before we reached the Mathura road, there's a large Giriraj Stila that was established by my late godbrother, Radapati Prabhu. Near the end of our prikama, we pass the very interesting Matilla Kunj Ashram. This is the railway line for the Radharani Express, which runs three times a day between Mathura and Vrindavan. All around the Prikama Mark, there are very colorful paintings decorating the walls. This elegant new temple is Krishna Kripa Dham. Across from this Lalita Ashram, there was one Baba who hung in a swing. He never sat down, he never lay down. Many times I would find him reading Srila Prabhupada's books in the swing. This is the Radisham Kuan, or Radisham Well. Everyone who passes by leans over and shouts, Radisham. Now we're approaching the Bhaktivedanta Swami Marg, the road into Vrindavan. So we end our prikama here at Sri Sri Krishna Balaram Mandir, at the Samadhi Mandir of His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, who brought Vrindavan to the world and the world to Vrindavan. We hope you relish today's Vrindavan Prikama. We hope to see you again in some wonderful place in Braj. Hare Krishna. <laughs>